That last one hurt. I know, man. It it's still a, hurts. It's a hot, hot sauce. How are you fine? Seriously. Put some chicken poppers in the oven. Okay, Sam Tabor. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. You are here and you are good. Wow, we're just starting. We've hit. Yeah, I just man. sat down. We're starting. Yeah, we're absolutely starting. Okay. Uh, so I say this all the time when I'm talking about just like straight up hot sauce videos, but this is going to be an amazing day for me, and I hope I I really hope for you as well, because I, I think that some of these things you actually might get enjoyment from. I think you're saying it's an amazing day because you can't wait to see how much pain I'm in. No, because these are going to be delicious sauces, and I'm hoping that you're going to get a level of enjoyment out of them too. Okay, we'll so, see. Why'd you bring bananas? Uh, those are from last week when Alex and I were eating those, those death peppers and with the, those are mouth, the mouth guards in. Okay. Yeah, we never got to get them. Anyways, uh, this is a Fuego box. Okay. This is a fantastic company. Mm -hmm. It is a subscription hot sauce company. And they do these like gnarly taste tests in their, uh, their studio, their lab, wherever they are. And they kind of vote on them as a staff. Vote on them. They go into a subscription box. You can sign up for them. You get them like monthly or quarterly, I believe. But Did they send you that? They did send this to me. That's nice. The hot sauces that make it into these subscription boxes are like truly for me have been some of the better hot sauces I've ever had. So you're going to get like craft hot sauces made for or made from like really really good hot sauce produ producers. That so, one has Satan on it. Yeah, like it this has Satan on it. This one I'm particularly excited about because I just had a sauce from this company and I'm like obsessed with it. So this is a new a new company for me, but all right, anyways, getting into it. We have three sauces here. Take this box. It and looks like set it aside. I think that's Satan's la larva, dude. But you get in here. It, this is a pineapple sauce. So this is a pineapple ginger hot sauce made by Burns and McCoy. This is Exodum. Okay. Okay. I just recently had uh, Exoresco. I think is how you pronounce the sauce from there. It's like one of their hottest sauces. It's exid Exodium. This is ex Exodium. 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 Ex Exodium. Exodium. Okay. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> um. But uh, very, very cool uh, hot sauce producer. His, one of his hotter sauces, Exoresco, is going to be the second hottest sauce on this upcoming season of Hot Ones. Mm. So that's very cool for I them. I like Hot Ones. Yeah, it's a good show. Uh, this is uh, Umami. This is one I'm very intrigued by. This is Umami Reserve Hot Sauce. It's made with oven-dried olives, porcini mushrooms, and chocolate habaneros by the Seed Ranch Flavor Company. Dude, I don't like habaneros. Mm. Or, you're, or you're chocolate. Gonna, it's a chocolate habanero, so it's got um, uh, maybe some more oils going on, so it's going to be a little bit spicier. Mm -hmm. Not like chocolate flavor. Okay. Uh, and then this one is another one. Uh, King Sauce. Uh, this is Carolina Reaper plus pineapple La Hot Sauce inspired by King James and the purple plus gold. So, but, all right. We, uh, before you, you just before, said Carolina Reaper. Before you lay judgment, let me talk about the heat level on this one real fast. Despite using the world's hottest pepper, the spice level lands at a medium 4 out of 10 on this one. That's what it says. Yeah, okay. I believe it. So, I'm uh, gonna let you just, just so we have a pre preface. 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 That's a word. Uh, yeah, pre a, preface. A, a, a preface. preface. A preface. Yes. Okay. Exitium. <laughs> uh, Brian said this would not be bad. Like I did, he always does. He I, always he always says same way. Be in a video. It's not gonna be bad. At I say all. it's I say, not gonna be bad. I think the literal quote is it's not going to be that bad. No, no, no. <laughs> you said it's not gonna be bad at all. Quote. Okay. That is what you said. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've, you've never not toned it down <laughs> after, oh my gosh. All right. All right, so you're going to be like the control on here. So I'll be explaining how the sauces taste. Hopefully you'll be explaining how they're going to taste, but you'll be a good judge for people that out. might not be really into spicier hot sauces, things like that, how your reaction is going to be to them. So that being said, where do, would you like to start? I don't know. Which one's the least? You, the guest, always picks. Which one's the le least hot? This is four out of ten, right? So I, I'm not. I have not. I have nothing. You can tell me. Th I'm not telling you anything. You, you just told me. Look, this is the four out of ten, right? Look at the bottle. You want me to read this? Make a decision on what you would like to eat first. Is this the four out of ten one? It is the four out of ten one. Okay, thank you. That's what I want to start okay. with. Okay, hold on. Okay, what's next? We're gonna we're, we're laying the whole thing out first before we go. This is the okay. Chocolate habanero can fly off. Okay. Okay. This is Satan. <laughs> This one's hot. Maybe I should. This one doesn't even have a scale. I know there's no scale. Try to look. But at it me. only has 0.5 grams of fat. Let's do this one. <laughs> okay. King sauce, Carolina Reaper, and pineapple a hot sauce. About our king sauce is a legendary sauce inspired by the legendary player coming to a legendary team. This sauce starts out with a sweet pineapple for a taste and is fired up by the world's hottest pepper, the Carolina Reaper. I am very into this style of sauce right now. You're so into, you're into death. Well, I like the sweet heat sauces currently. Like it's gonna hit. I want so, like. Some really fresh tasting pineapple in the front, and I want that. I want that Carolina Reaper just come over the top, man. So you do as much or as little as you want. Okay. 
I decided in this hot sauce video, I'm gonna step it up now. So I'm gonna, I'm going to go with a full spoonful from now on. And what? And use. Yeah. This is kind of, it's just. Are you gotta, serious? Yeah. Uh, from now on, I'm gonna go full spoonful. That can hurt you, I think. I, I know, and I think that that need, I need, you need to lay it out there. That's all I'm doing, man. Okay, that's fine. You can do as much or as little. We're talking about. If you've the never sauce, watched me in a video before, you know that like a windy, spicy chicken nugget. It's spicy to me. Sam is a little bit more sensitive to spice, but there's no nothing wrong with that at all. You're doing so an entire spoonful. Are you I'm serious? going to do an entire spoonful. Yes. Ooh. That's crazy, man. Boom. That's crazy. But it'll give a. You can't even see mine, really. It'll be a base layer or a base level to see how truly hot the sauce is. All right. So cheers. Wow. That um. Do Carolina Reapers taste so bad? That's not Carolina Reaper I'm getting. Um, that's pineapple, absolutely, 100% <coughs> at the forefront. Carolina Reaper, um, I'm not getting any of the flavor from the Reaper, but I'm getting a slight hit, bit of heat. I'm agreeing. Um, I wouldn't even say this is like a 2 out of 10 on the heat scale for me. Where is it for you? Is that it's, hot? Yeah. You, you get some heat from yeah. it? Yeah. All right, so it's maybe the throat. Maybe the 4 out of 10 is, is more ac more accurate for... Those are going like, to be harder than this. Like, oh, oh absolutely. Crap. Um, all right, so uh, pineapple, fresh pineapple, sweetness <clears throat> immediately. Um, the Carolina Reaper heat comes quicker than I thought it was going to, and it's not, it's a slow build, um, uh, slow ramping up, but the heat comes almost immediately. You didn't taste the Carolina Reaper? I tasted uh, the Carolina I, I, Reaper I, immediately. I didn't taste, taste Carolina Reaper to me. I got the heat from the Reaper, but did not taste it. The taste of it is what's gross to me. So, pineapple, pineapple juice, organic white wine. vinegar. I'm, I got a little bit of vinegar. Uh, bell pepper did not get that. Um, the salt, organic Carolina Reaper pepper. So yeah, it's it's basically pineapple and pineapple juice is what this is going to be with a little bit of backing up with the vinegar. So those are the flavors I definitely got out of this. This is a very good sauce. I'd want to put this on. It does tone down really quickly. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to think. This would be good like uh, as a dessert sauce almost. Like I would put this on like pie. I'm not even kidding. Like apple pie, peach cobbler, nope. pineapple. Nope. This is a dessert for me. Okay. All right. Um, Moving on, so we have Seed Ranch Umami Reserve. This one I'm very intrigued by. So it says, Umami, the fifth taste, translates to a pleasant, savory flavor. Uh, Fuego Box spicy subscribers will be the first in the country to receive Seed Ranch's Umami Reserve hot sauce, a rich, earthy sauce paired with a dark kick from the 500,000 plus Scoville chocolate habanero pepper. 500,000 plus, yes, that's, you read that right, or heard that right. Uh, starting with their first homegrown batch, Seed Ranch continues to use organic, wild, and non GMO ingredients to deliver farm-to-bottle deliciousness. Oven-dried olives, porcini mushrooms, wild-harvested kelp, and capers, wow. Highlight the sophisticated sauce, handmade in front of the Rocky Mountains for Fuego Box. That sounds amazing. Would you do a video called pouring the world's hottest hot sauces into my eyeballs? <laughs> what was that laugh? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I already wanna put this on sweet potatoes. Like, <laughs> so you can do as much or as little of this as you want. It's a looser sauce, so be careful there. That smells, wow, that smells amazing. I'm trying to think of this. Okay, so, uh, ingredients. Number one ingredient, that's what it is. It's, I, was, I was like, it's, it's almost like a soy sauce. So it's gluten-free tamari, that's number one. Uh, first ingredient, no, number second ingredient, water, olive oil, tomato paste, capers, dried olives, porcini mushrooms, chocolate habanero peppers, shiitake mushrooms, seaweed, garlic, red miso, balsamic vinegar, white vinegar, chipotle, carrot, date, sesame oil, and cumin. I'm wow, there's a lot going on. I'm gonna this. recite all those back to you, ready? Go. I'm not. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. You're up. I might even do less than what I just did. Because if, if it's increasing... It, it's all about the balance, though. It, no! Dude, you're going to be okay. It's going to be okay, man. Dude! It's going to be okay. It pours out. Oh, it's so liquidy. I mean, just because it's made with these chocolate habaneros doesn't mean that the ratio of habanero is super high in this. You know what I'm saying? All right, cheers. i got to be very careful with this one. Wow, no, I wow, that's really good. On potato, sweet potatoes immediately, um, like roasted what? meat, like uh, a steak. I'm gonna put this on a steak. Um, <clears throat> I'm get, are you getting heat from this? I'm getting way less heat from this one. Yeah, honestly, that one's hotter. Yeah, this, this, one's hotter. this one is definitely hotter. Um, that one just this is tastes bad. I you're not getting those umami flavors, man. Dude, this is great. Everything that you like in food, I don't. <laughs> I've realized that. I have get like there's a richness to the sauce that I really enjoy. I would treat this like almost like a steak sauce. Like I want to be like <clears throat> dipping meat in this. Like the mushrooms are in the in like the, the richness from the mushrooms is coming across so well for me. And also the uh, the tamari. 
This is a fabulous sauce. But as far as heat goes, again, I think this is way less on the heat scale. I'm gonna go like, I mean, this is like a two or a three to me on the heat scale. But that doesn't take away from the sauce. This is a very good sauce. Can we like review honey mustard or something? I have some mustards back there, man. We can do some mustard sometime. Okay. All right, you're in for the mustard then. Okay. Now, the one that I'm most interested on to try today. So this is... Did you clean this table after Alex vomited? Oh, I cleaned the crap okay, out of this table. Okay, this spoon has been on there. Yes, we, we cleaned it. Okay. So, this is Exodum from Burns & McCoy. Uh, about, uh, based out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Burns & McCoy is a family-owned business that shared a, familiar mo a similar mantra with Fuegobox. We believe that flavor is the foundation for anything that we create, starting with a base of fresh shallots, roasted garlic, and ginger. Exodum is rounded out by the sweetness of pineapple, agave nectar, and the, ci the citrus of organic orange peel. This balance seamlessly complements the Fatali yellow seven pot peppers, which are pretty hot, yellow ghost peppers, yellow maruga scorpion peppers, and Carolina Reaper pepper blend. Warning, this warning, this tasty sauce is extra hot. And this would be I can see the, 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 the chicken and the pork, you know, like grilled. You don't even know. You haven't tasted it yet. I'm, I'm basing it off of what the ingredients are, you know? This one, okay. Has it built for you like, no. in the past five minutes? Okay, because it's like hot right now. I mean, we've had two hot sauces, you know, and sauces do build, but I've, I feel pretty good at the moment. All right, you're up. This is going to be the hottest sauce we've had today by, by far. By yeah, far. there's Satan on it. I'm pretty excited about this one. Okay. I'm such a wimp compared to what you're doing. Dude, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Dude, people have different sensitivities to spicy food. That doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> you're gonna die. I might. This you're is, gonna die. This is a pretty hot you hot didn't sauce. You fill it up all the way. <laughs> you would call me out like that, Sam Tabor. There you go. You said full spoonful from now on. Is, that, is that full enough for you? That's, That's good. That's full? Okay. Your right. nose is running, dude. So, this is the... So, pineapple hot sauce. So again, I'm hoping that we get a big pineapple bomb up front, and there's probably some other things going on, but then I want I want that heat coming in over the top. I taste the pineapple. Pineapple immediately. Wow, that's really hot. That's got some heat. This is definitely, hands down, the hottest hot sauce of Ooh. the day. Are you okay? Yeah, I swallowed. Yeah, it's got some heat. <clears throat> uh, that's gonna take a second to build, and these seven, this, this, um, seven pot peppers and the oh. yellow ghost and the carolina reaper it's gonna grow a little bit it's gonna continue to grow dude i had the smallest amount how are you're gonna die i'm good you're gonna i mean really i mean it's it's definitely really hot like oh man this oh, is the, man this one is the first one that i've I'm like you can taste the peppers in this like yeah the the the, the other flavors in this are not what dominating peppers the peppers what's that oh we got seven pot. I had these small yellow amount. ghost peppers yellow maruga scorpion oh. and carolina reaper all in this you oh okay? i'm crying yeah Oh, is it just me or is my face turning white? You're a little white. Oh man. <laughs> um, I, with the others, one other sauce that I've had from this company, I like, mm. this is one of the rare occasions that I actually like the fact that the flavors- You're fine. Are, yeah, the, that the flavors of the pepper are not hidden by the rest of the ingredients mm. in here. So, this is, I mean, this is a very, you don't, this is a very hot You don't know a symptom sauce. of me eating hot sauce is my head starts itching. Oh, yeah, because you're starting to sweat. That makes sense. I'm going to give this like a solid, like, I don't know, like six out of ten, five and a half, six out of ten. I'm talking like dying is ten, then, you know? But this is a truly hot hot sauce. Oh, man. So I liked it. Like, again, uh, a lot of sweetness and some other spices um, coming very much in the forefront. The flavor of, pe of all these super hot peppers comes roaring over the back. You can taste the peppers. Mm. Great hot sauce. Out of uh, which one was your favorite out of all of these today? Oh, are you okay, man? Dude, I, li I literally can't like talk right now. Really? Seriously, my tongue feels like it's twice as big. I can feel like I got some prickly um, on, the, on the outer lips. This one was less hot, so that one. You think that that one's the, the least? Mm -hmm. All three of these are such dramatically different hot sauces. Oh, my lips! I appreciate them for their different ways. Oh, uh, the lips are doing things. <laughs> Uh, the king sauce had all of that like amazing like huge 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 pineapple bomb immediately over the top and then a Bananas little bit help right uh, a little bit a little bit of Carolina Reaper heat that came over the back of it uh, I think this is like a dessert hot sauce I want to put this on like a, like a cobbler or pie or something um, this one this umami reserve by uh, Seed Ranch um, very very mild but lots of flavor I really like the mushrooms that are in this I want to use this like a steak sauce. And then Exit in by Burns McCoy, uh, really, really hot. I'd put this on roasted meat, chicken, pork, you know, put it on like a, a pork taco, barbacoa, you know, chicken. 
that kind of thing. How you doing, man? Horrible. This sucked. It wasn't that bad. Oh, bad. You're, you're, you're seriously for me, bad. <laughs> my, yeah, I really feel it in my upper lip right now. I'm dead serious. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate. How are you, you fine? I, <laughs> I don't. I, I eat hot stuff all the time. But I appreciate you uh, letting me put you through this. I think this is a good, is a good control. Because you handle spicy food less, I enjoy spicy food quite a bit, and so I think that the, the balance between the two of us is a good dynamic. I appreciate you. Uh, in the description below is Sam's information, all of his links to his social media. Please, 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 please go check him out. He does amazing skateboarding. He does weird skits. He's one of the weirdest people that I know on this planet, and I mean that in a very, very good way. He's patted my leg. I appreciate you guys for checking out this video. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.